This is Multisport TV. Rottnest Island is Western Australia's premier island getaway, located just off the coast of Perth. Rottnest boasts some of the most spectacular bays, beaches and wildlife in the world. Originally used to house prisoners from as early as 1838, locals and tourists now travel to the island to swim at white sandy beaches and snorkel in the turquoise waters. It's the destination location for both of the events in this episode and we begin with one of the world's biggest open ocean events, the Rottnest Channel Swim. The Rottnest Channel Swim Association was formed in 1989, but it was way back in 1956 that Gerd von Dinklage completed the first ever recorded crossing, which started the legendary race, which is now in its 20th anniversary. In the mid 80s, a few people did it and thought, oh, this is a good idea, let's form it into association. So in 1990, they formed the association, and in 1991 was the first formal Rottnest Channel Swim, and there was 43 swimmers that day. It's gorgeous, and you can swim 20k with uh, friends, and also you can see over 2,000 swimmers who love swimming in the ocean. All I've heard is that it's a really hard event, and the last 3k's really takes it out of you. Seeing all the first timers terrified of the water, you know, getting across, worrying about sharks, worrying about everything, and then seeing them come into the beach at the end, all stoked and, and proud of themselves. That's pretty cool. It's just an amazing Western Australian spectacular. I think it's quite unique to these parts. I'd never come across it before. It's just an event everyone can have a go at. It's fantastic. No better a person to ask how to complete the crossing than Dieter Lohliger. And on the eve of his 77th birthday, this remarkable individual is attempting his 12th solo crossing. It's technique uh, first and then fitness. I mean, fitness, anybody can uh, have the fitness, but they have to have the technique. The prospect of a gruelling swim, open ocean, stingers and even sharks wasn't enough to deter a celebrity or two. It's, it's been talked up so much that I think almost if we don't see one, it might be a disappointment. I might regret saying that, but it, it, everyone's talking about the sharks and there's such a thing as a shark repellent device now, which we don't have. Sharks. That's all I've heard. And that's all I, I, I've been taunted about over the last couple of months. Shark bait gym. It's nature for us, you know, if you see anyone in trouble, you're going to give them a hand. I think most Aussies would, so hopefully we don't, we don't incur it, but if we do, we'll do our best to give them a hand, unless we're winning. 